Welcome to our exploration of the towering world of skyscrapers and urban development, with a special focus on India. Today, we dive into why, despite its booming economy and dense population, India's skyline looks different from its Asian neighbors like China and Japan. Join us as we unravel this architectural enigma. In Asia, if you visit busy cities, you can't miss one thing, they love to build big. Skyscrapers reach into the clouds, symbols of economic growth and the need for space. But let's turn to India, home to some of the world's most populous cities and a giant economy. Surprisingly, India's skyline tells a different story. While cities like Mumbai have skyscrapers, they're fewer and shorter than those in neighboring countries. India's economy is soaring, yet its cities aren't reaching for the sky. It's odd, isn't it? Other countries with similar growth have skylines bristling with skyscrapers. So what's holding India back? Why, with such wealth and population, are India's buildings staying low? India's way of building cities has roots in its history. Traditional styles and planning have always favored spreading out rather than building up. This approach, influenced by cultural and historical factors, has shaped the way Indian cities look today. But here's where it gets interesting. A little-known rule called the Floor Space Index, or FSI, plays a big part. This rule decides how much you can build on a plot of land. It's like a game of construction limits, and India is playing it very cautiously. The story of FSI in India is interesting. It's not just a rule, it's about managing city life. Over time, these rules have tried to balance growing cities with the need for open spaces and less crowded living. Let's compare. China has almost 3,000 skyscrapers, while India has just 273. Cities like New York and Hong Kong have FSIs which are 15, encouraging vertical growth. But in Mumbai, the FSI has been surprisingly low at 2.5, limiting how high buildings can go. India faces unique challenges. With its vast population, power outages are common, especially when the heat rises and everyone's using electricity. Skyscrapers, which need lots of power and water, struggle in this setting. So building taller isn't just about space, it's about having the infrastructure to support these giants. Besides power, India's cities face other big challenges like busy roads and complex sewage systems. The rapid growth of cities adds to these problems, making urban planning a tricky task. Urban planners like Shirish Patel and Vani Herlikar offer insights into the dense city planning. Patel breaks down the math of FSI, explaining its impact on building volume. Herlikar points out that higher FSI doesn't always mean more crowded spaces. It's a complex equation of space, people, and urban design. The low FSI in cities like Mumbai affects more than just the skyline. It impacts housing prices and availability. With limited space to build up and an ever-growing population, housing becomes scarce and expensive. This leads to horizontal sprawl, increasing traffic and pollution. The situation is creating a gap in cities. Those who can afford live in spacious homes, while many others struggle for space. It's a social issue, reflecting the divide between different income groups in urban India. Recent changes in Mumbai's FSI rules have slightly opened the door to taller buildings. Though still conservative, these changes could signal a shift toward a taller skyline. In 2022 alone, Mumbai saw the completion of 27 new skyscrapers. The shift in Mumbai's FSI regulations could be a game-changer, not just for Mumbai, but for other Indian cities too. If successful, it might inspire similar changes elsewhere, leading to more skyscrapers across India. This could start a trend of vertical growth, offering a new way to accommodate India's growing urban population. It's about finding a balance between tradition and modern needs, creating cities that respect their past but are ready for the future. As India continues to evolve, these urban changes will play a key role in shaping its journey into a global powerhouse. India's urban future hinges on balancing growth with infrastructure. Investing in mass transit, roads, and utilities is key. If India embraces higher density and taller buildings, along with infrastructure development, it could transform its urban centers into more efficient, livable spaces. Looking ahead, India's cities could change a lot. New technologies, eco-friendly building methods, and smarter planning could reshape these urban landscapes. There's a lot of potential for cities that are both modern and sustainable. As India continues to grow, its approach to urban development will be crucial. Building up could ease housing crises and reshape cityscapes. With strategic planning and investment, India's cities could reach new heights, both literally and figuratively. 
What do you think the future holds for India Skylines? Share your insights and join the discussion below. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.